What's going on right gamers, here we are with some more Outriders and today I'm going to be going over what are some of the best firepower mods you can put on your build if you're struggling to kind of hit those numbers you want and if you want to raise your firepower through the roof then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back everyone, as always Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox and of course a lot more of the latest and greatest content on the way and a lot more Outriders, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today you're here to find out what mods you can chuck on your build to raise your firepower through the roof and just to make it so that you can actually hit some really nice damage with those kind of firepower builds or anomaly round builds which a lot of people tend to really enjoy playing. Now in general you have a lot more to choose from for firepower, there's quite a few that stand out and there seems to be quite a few more than there are for the anomaly versions. So you have quite a lot to choose from and you can do some fun builds with a lot of firepower. Some of the really nice tier 2 ones are these ones just here. Right so first up we've got rejuvenation, just an all round nice hybrid one, really easy, activates quite a lot and to be perfectly honest 14,158 firepower is actually a real significant amount. So receive 14,158 firepower, 7,005 anomaly power and 40,957 armor bonus for 8 seconds whenever your health is replenished, meaning if you've got a build on where you get a bit of health regen which pretty much when you get kills, when you do pretty much anything this to do with damage and stuff, most of the time you will be getting some kind of a health regen back, this will be activating very often, meaning that you're going to have that up an awful lot and 14,158 firepower is actually really nice and this can work in hybrid builds. Now next up, and this one is actually a lot better than it sounds, Fresh Mag, reloading increases your firepower by 19,307 for 8 seconds. Basically, if you're using a gun and you're going to be reloading a lot, this right here will give you a very, very high uptime, sometimes pretty much permanent, for firepower of 19,307. Honestly, it's a lot better than it sounds, and in some cases, in some certain playstyles where you're not using anomaly rounds, this can work really, really well in a build. Next up, and we've got Preservance Munitions. Whenever your health drops below 30%, increase your firepower by 38,613 for 5 seconds. In some regen builds, this right here can be absolutely crazy. 38,613 is actually a really significant number for firepower, and it means that you could have that up quite, quite often if you've got the right playstyle and the right kind of build where you're in the opponent's face and you're taking a lot of damage, but you are able to also receive a lot of healing. Now next up, and I'm going to show you one to actually probably avoid. It sounds absolutely amazing. If you can make the playstyle work, it is one of the strongest mods for firepower in the game, but nigh on most times, you won't be playing like this. And that is this one just here, Hidden and Dangerous. Increases your firepower by 48,910 when shooting from cover. It sounds amazing, it can be amazing, but it's very situational. There's a lot of times when you can't find cover, there's 90% of the time when I'm playing when you are nowhere near cover, you're out in the open, you're just running and gunning. If you could make this work, it would be amazing, but a lot of times it won't be up. I'd say this is probably one to avoid, unless you're in one of the play areas where there's a lot of cover constantly. And finally for the tier 2s, we have probably hands down the best one, and that's Bloodlust. Killing Shots increases your firepower by 17,505 and stacks up to 3 times, deteriorates every 10 seconds. If you're killing enemies fast enough, it means you're almost going to have 60,000 just under, and that is an absolute abundance of firepower. This is one of the best in slots for tier 2s, as long as you can do the damage and make sure that you're killing fast enough to keep the buffs up. Going over to the tier 3, and I'm going to chuck on my favourite 2. It's these just here. Stare into the barrel. Boost your firepower by 10,039 for each enemy in close range and stacks up to 5 times. That means you're going to get over 50,000 firepower as long as you're around a lot of enemies. In this game, no matter what you do, there is always enemies attacking you. You are always in the mix and most of the time you're going to have at least probably 20, 30, upwards of that, all the way to 50,000 extra firepower just from having this mod on. 
you don't need to do anything other than be close to the enemies it's a really nice easy one it activates on its own there's no real prerequisites other than the fact that you're fighting close range really nice really easy if you have got this chuck it on your build and you will notice the damage go up and lastly one of the best ones in the game very very similar to bloodlust but a little bit better is sharp eye Killing enemies whilst aiming down sights grants you 16,009 firepower for 20 seconds and stacks up to three times. Now you might be thinking, well, the other one was slightly higher. Yes, it was, but this one has double the amount of seconds. So instead of that 10 seconds, you've got 20 seconds, meaning that you can stack it and keep it really, really easy. You can also kind of make your way through everything and most of the time this will stay up. In my eyes, this is one of the best firepower mods in the game. If you can do, chuck it on your build, you won't regret it, especially if you compare it with this. You will run, you will gun, and you'll absolutely mow things to pieces. That one that I probably should mention is this one right here, and that is Kingslayer. Critical hits on elites increase firepower by 32,178 for six seconds. This one is a little bit of a niche one. It can work in really nice crit builds. I would probably put some of the others above this, especially the last two I said, but Kingslayer can be really good as an add-on if you are using a crit build. Right, all you gamers, as always, I hope that's helped a few of you out. I saw a few of you kind of struggling for your firepower, so I thought I'd chuck this out there, and at least you'll know what mods to kind of look out for. As always, guys and girls, take care. I'll see you on the next day.